So we've just attached the, our cleaned drums to the underside of the raft and we've put them in a position that will mean that it's not lopsided um, hopefully once we deploy it. We've tied the drums on with baling twine um, and we've also tied a shade cloth onto the top of the raft with the baling twine as well. Um, if you can, I would recommend using wire just because it's more permanent, it's not going to uh, degrade but for this dam we've chosen baling twine because it's close to the house so we can keep an eye on it if it starts to fall apart or untie. Um, and it's also an area where stock uh, and sometimes vehicles need to pass through so for safety as much as anything else we've chosen baling twine. But um, and as with the shade cloth as well because they're plastic materials, don't intend to just pop them on and then walk away because it's, it's they're materials that you, you don't want to just um, maybe fall apart and sink to the bottom one day because these rafts are not they're not going to be permanent um, you might get a couple of years before they start to sink and you need to make a new one that's fine um, so we've just tied shade cloth to the top uh, as a way of helping secure the plants that we're going to pop into the gaps of the pallets it also provides a bit of grip for things like turtles or even yabbies to hold onto or climb up on um, and it will sort of protect and provide some substrate for the plants. We've stuffed the rafts with a straw like a mulch that we just had um, and that's going to be a bit of substrate for roots to grow through. It will also kickstart the building up of bug colonies and make a bit of food for yabbies and other all sorts of things like that just as a bit of building block. Um, and we haven't wrapped the shade cloth the whole way around because we thought it's easier for plant roots to grow through but it also allows a bit of movement of water and oxygen through the straw so that you don't get a build up of stuff you might not want like uh, a bit of, bit of algae or things like that um, and the pallets that we've chosen are untreated uh, and they say we've picked ones that have the stamp that say HT for heat treated it's really important that you do that and also make sure that untreated pallet doesn't look like it's got chemical leakage from things that might have been used for before so that's it